and of course along with the projects there's still going to be reviews and there's still going to be those quick tip videos coming out well that was a lie wore it i don't know you're right samia i know it's been a while and i can only apologize honestly i can only apologize i had every intention of what i said in that clip just i thought right i'll be making stuff filming it putting it out monday to friday for on a budget then I'll get to the weekend and I'll, I'll have a tat about and I'll make some simple projects for my channel still. I knew I couldn't do like one every week, but I thought, oh, I can do one a fortnight or maybe even just do one a month, just like keep the channel going. Um, but no, that didn't materialise and I can't only apologise for that. Um, I Basically, I got to the point where it was like I was making stuff, filming it Monday to Friday. And then of course you get to the weekend and you don't want to be doing what you've been doing all week, do you, for work? So... That kind of happened, unfortunately. Um, but it was also a little bit of a mix as well with my health, to be honest. It's not been great. And just that, like, working Monday to Friday, and then I'd get to the weekend and I'd literally be spent. Like, literally, energy is completely gone. And I'm like, nothing left in the tank. So it was just rest and recuperation, ready to go again on Monday morning. Uh, so that's been me for the last 13 months now. Um, a dog in my rung, I've loved every minute of it. I've been able to do what i love most making stuff filming it putting it out on the internet to hopefully inspire people to have a go at making stuff for themselves and all those videos them all still there the on on a budget so what i'll do i'll leave a link in the description down below and i'll put together a playlist for all the videos that i made they'll be on the on a budget youtube channel but the videos are also available on the facebook page on instagram on tiktok all that good stuff um i made a variety of stuff so i've done like a pergola in the summer um a bin store done a few mirror projects there's even some like expanding foam projects in there as well as you can imagine with on a budget there's like a wide variety like a wide spectrum that i covered to try and just inspire as many people as possible and just show people that anyone can have a go at making stuff not everything's going to turn out perfect probably like some of the expanding foam projects that i did but some things can turn out really good and like, we hope to at least show people that look sometimes it is worth having a go for yourself um, but i'd basically i'd reached the point where Again, my health, not great, and I was struggling. I was hitting a brick wall on multiple occasions, and I was like, this is this is tough um, to get through. But also just that like natural gut instinct of missing this channel and everything that I've done for the last seven years now. I think it's seven years, um, and I've really missed it. So I took the decision, whether it's stupid or the best decision I've ever made, um, to hand him my notice for on a budget. So I finished, just gone in December, um, so I won't be making videos there anymore. Like I say, all the videos are still there. Make sure you go and check them out. Um, but I'm going to be back on this channel um, and I'm going to be trying to basically breathe some life back into this channel and hopefully continue to inspire people um, and just get back to what I enjoy. Um, I have genuinely missed making stuff for myself. I know that I just love making stuff in general, but there's a different feel to it when you've got an idea for a project and you just really want to make that project compared to thinking of items that other people might want to make so you show them how to make it and that might blur into the two but i'm sure if you make stuff as well you know what i'm talking about it's very easy to say right somebody might want to make um a radiator cover but i don't need a radiator cover at the moment so it's not a passion i really want to make that radiator cover um, but you enjoy making stuff so you make the radiator cover whereas on this channel i know that if i want to make a computer desk i really want to make that computer desk and that's a hint that's going to be like my first big project back i'm going to be making a computer desk but you know what i mean um i've really missed that and i've missed like friends being able to say can you make me this and me being able to say yeah i can like yeah i've got the time to make it i hadn't like not while i've been doing this for on a budget so that's all coming back videos will be back um hopefully a lot more than there have been as well in the past when i've had all the time to do this i never really uploaded to any kind of consistent schedule so i'm hoping that will change i've got ideas of how i'm going to make that happen and um, because again i know that physically i'm not the best at being able to just chug along keep on keep on keep on keep on so i've got ideas for videos that i think can still of value but can give me those little buffer like buffer windows when i need it when i'm not actually able to physically make something I think I can still offer some value and hopefully still inspire people um, and give them information that will help them to start woodworking and, and just making in general. So that's kind of my plan moving forward. 
Um, I have actually been looking for a space, like a dedicated space. I'm currently in a 12 foot by eight foot shed. Um, and it's been great. I mean, it's a great space. Like I know I'm in the luxury, like a lot of people haven't got a space this size, never mind wanting bigger. Um, but as you can imagine, like as soon as you put lights in place and cameras, and then obviously the tools and you actually start making stuff, it soon becomes very limited to what you can do. Um, so I just, I'd like a bigger space, would we all? Uh, but I just feel that if I had a bigger space, I'd be able to do a lot more as well. And I just like that feel as well of perhaps having somewhere to go to do it. So even when I've been working for on a budget, I've been doing it from here, from home. Um, and working from home, a lot of yeah can actually relate to that now with everything that's been going on in the world. Um, but it, it has a different atmosphere to it because, yeah, it's great that you've only got to walk like 10 foot from a back door to come to the workshop. Um, but a workplace has a different feel to it. You get up, you go to work and you're there and you're far more productive. And I do think that that will make a big difference. I hope it will anyway. Um, but I've been struggling to actually find anywhere. I've obviously been looking in the Wolverhampton area um, and I haven't been able to find anything. It's been a struggle. I want to say thank you to Gary. Gary has been a massive help. He's been helping me find somewhere. Um, we've found potential places and then they've either already gone or just completely out of my budget. So. The, the search continues basically. If you know of anywhere, don't be shy to let me know because I really want to find somewhere and honestly, sooner the better, to be honest. Um, but that's the plan and I have got ideas further down the road. Um, I love the thought and it is genuinely just the thought at this point. It's something I'm passionate about, um, but it's miles, like literally, like I can't even see it's a dot in the future. Um, I'd love to have a collaborative space. Um, one thing that has really stood out to me throughout everything recently um, is how much of a difference it makes just having people around. Um, it makes such a huge difference. Woodworking and making is fantastic at being an escape from everything. And I've spoke a lot about just being able to come into here, shut that door and what's going on in the rest of the world doesn't matter. And a lot of the time I put that down to being solitary and on my own and not having to think about what other people are doing or anything like that. But I had an experience recently, um, which some of you may know, um, I hope you know anyway, it was something I wasn't able to talk about in my last update, but I was part of a TV show. And that TV show was called Handmade Britain's Best Woodworker. It was on Channel 4, so it's available on 4 On Demand now if you haven't seen it already. And um, when we filmed it, it was back in September 2020. It was called Good With Wood then. I think that's a better name. Britain's Best Woodworker. We was not the best woodworkers in Britain. Um, they did put a disclaimer on the show that obviously we was all amateurs, um, DIYist people at the very start of the career. But of course, the title of the show leads you to believe, are oh, these are the best woodworkers? We're not. Um, but it was a lot of fun. And uh, we had like different challenges, different projects we had to make. But we was all in one massive workshop together. And I tell you, just having like-minded people over your shoulder when you've either got a problem or you've hit that brick wall and you're not quite sure what to do next. Just somebody else seeing it and instantly knowing what you're trying to work out in your mind and just chipping in an idea. Or you seeing them either struggling with something or or they haven't quite worked something out. You're like, have you tried that? And it's like, yeah, the camaraderie. It was amazing. It genuinely was. And I loved every minute of it. And I can just imagine having a large space and having multiple makers in there and everybody doing their own thing. You've got your own stuff going on, but just with other people around, like, I think it'd be great. And I'd love to get it as kind of a, a community feel as well, enabling people to come in, kind of a, a make, do, and mend idea workshop kind of thing. Like, so show people how to mend the furniture, save them some money, show them how to make stuff for themselves. Just basically, I don't know, give back a little bit. That's kind of the little dot in the future that I can see. And that is a big goal of mine. Um, but coming right back to where I am now, I think just having a dedicated space would, would be a, a huge help at the moment. Because um, I've got a lot planned. I've got a lot planned. And I want to say a massive thank you. I thank Gary for all his help finding these um, spaces with me. But I've also got to say a massive thank you to Trend. You probably noticed that there's a few boxes around me at the moment. Um, they very kindly got in touch and asked if they could help in any way. Now, it's not a sponsorship. But I do want to make that clear. They're not sponsoring any videos, anything like that, just full disclosure. Um, but they have gifted me some items. So they've gifted me some of their cordless tool range. Um, so there's like sanders in there, there's the drill driver, 
cordless router which i'm really excited to have a go with and um, so there's lots of stuff which you'll be seeing in videos um so a massive thank you obviously goes out to them can't thank them enough um honestly but they have also sent out on loan a cnc machine now this cnc machine i think is pretty special and it, it kind of links into me talking about needing a bigger space and everything because this cnc machine i've been told is eight foot by four foot so it can do like a full sheet of plywood full sheet of mdf all that kind of stuff but it collapses down to a size that you can put underneath your workbench now i've actually cleared my shed i've got rid of my workbench i've been clearing out my other sheds as well and um, just in preparation it's like clear shed clean mine that kind of thing um so i haven't got a workbench to put it behind at the moment but one of my videos coming up is going to be setting this up and I've been told apparently you can do it in three minutes. Now, I'm probably not going to be able to do it in three minutes for the first time, but I'm really intrigued to see how this goes because it was basically this says, we think in your small shed, this would be ideal to be able to show that you can do large machining projects like this in a small space. And um, so a massive thank you to them. Like I say, it is just on loan, um, but it'll be fun to have a go with and see what I can come up with. I've got some ideas. I've got some things I want to try. Um, I'll be like sharing my experience with it and sharing like the software and stuff and how I can figure it out because I have got experience with CNCs. I, I had the Inventables x -Carve, um, So I, I know a little bit, but not a lot. Um, so that's coming up. So I look forward to that. But in general, there's just going to be a lot more content coming on the channel. Um, lots more planned. And I know I've been rambling a lot now, so I'm probably best to, to cut it short, which I'm sorry, Jeff. Um, I know one of your requests from my last update video was for me to make longer videos um so longer videos will be on the horizon and i promise this time but obviously not when it's just me sat in my shed talking when it's actually something to merit so maybe when i'm doing my computer desk that will warrant it being a long video because then i can go into detail um and there'll be plenty of rambling i'm sure but yeah i want to say a massive thank you to all of you for still being here and um, if anyone watches this and I want to say, uh, like, I hope you all had a great Christmas and I hope this year is better than the last couple of years we've had. I don't know if it can be much worse. Uh, there's uh, not much expectations. I'm sure a lot of people's in that same position, but you've got to keep plodding on, ain't you? Um, whatever hand you dealt, you've got to keep on playing. So let's see how it goes, eh? Giving it a try, 2022. Let's see what it has in store and keep an eye out for future videos because this time the will actually come. So thank you all for watching. Catch you on the next one.